guys, it's me again, and I'm here today to do another movie review. This one is for The Good Dinosaur. I'm sorry this had to happen so late. It's just because I went to go see the movie on Sunday, and I've just been bit so busy so much. But, um, and I'm going to, in this review, I'm going to be talking about criticisms that I got in the um, trailer reactions that I did for this. And I'm going to be talking about the movie, the my opinion of the movie in general. But first, let me just talk about the plot of this movie. So basically, the plot is about this, you know, little dinosaur who's just been scared of everything for his entire life until he pretty much gets swept away by the river and with the help of a human boy and a few other characters along the right way, he finds the true meaning of how to be, how to be brave while also being scared at the same time. Um, when, when I first had, when I first, um, you know, saw this movie, I, I immediately thought to myself, why is Pixar doing this? Because I know they've had so much delays with this movie. I'm like, you know, it's barely enough to get, like, you know, just that, it's barely enough to get something that was just in development for so long to actually be good. I admit, very few rare films have done that. But it's really extremely hard. And I was criticizing it at first because the trailers seemed like, you know, did not, like, you know, capture the elements of Pixar that are normally in them. And I was, like, criticizing the art design in it. And I was, like, I was trying to give it a chance. It's like, hey, if the story and characters are good enough, you know, to carry this through, then it's it's a good it's a good movie if it does that. It's a good movie if it does that, even though the art style is kind of all over the place. I'm going to start off with a good criticism instead of instead of me going into criticism in general because there's some things I need to say about this. But let me start off with the good things. One of the good things about this is that it it like, you know, in somewhat of the of the middle part which I also have a problem with, but in the middle part it kind of tries to be a western. I I mean the the key is characters represent these characters represent people from the West, like, you know, Native Americans, cowboys, hillbillies. I mean, I mean, for Pixar to tackle in, uh, like, a Western, I mean, that's that's pretty new in, in my, um, that's pretty new for what Pixar ha has done, especially, you know, with trying to tie in the Western genre into, like, this dinosaur, this dinosaur story. I mean, it, it, I wish, you know, I wish it could have, you know, kind of commit, which is going to be my problem, but I'm still talking about the good stuff. Um, and, um, pretty much, I will have to say that the best character in here has to be that little boy, Spot, who has no dialogue throughout this entire movie, but you can tell, you know, even through, like, you know, he has to act like a dog, he still has human emotion. And I, and again, I wish we could have followed his story, but, another criticism, we'll leave it for later. And then the third the third thing that I will say that is done really well in this, I normally don't like when they have to explain the message here, but it was done through an uh, ongoing conversation, which I thought, you know, fit. Which I thought fit into, you know, what the scene actually was um, intended to be. And the message of that is that, you know, if you are not scared of anything, then you are not you know, you're not alive, you know, it's okay to be scared of things, it's okay to have fear, you just need to know how to live with it, and I'm like, you know what, that's a really, really good message that you, you know, don't really see in much animated films, I know, I know people are like, you know, in animation, like, be brave, be strong, you know, have no fear, but this movie says, no, it's okay to have fear, you just need to know how to not let it consume your whole life. So I liked that little part, like, you know, where they had to, you know, some, somewhat say that message, but also, you know, you know, actually have it fit into the scene. My criticisms are pretty much still the same. I wish I could, I wish this, all of this would have been so much of a better movie because all those elements, all those little elements are really good elements, elements, but I wish it could have been in a much better movie. And it's sad to and it's sad to think that Pixar had a hand in this. I mean, for for what the, the world that they wanted to accomplish and build, I don't think it really fully committed. I mean, let me start off with what I've been getting criticized the most over: the art style, or at least the animation in general. People have been saying to me, 
like, oh, well, you know, it's, you know, it's to make the characters, you know, more simplistic against this really harsh world that they had to go into. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of things are saying like that, like Pixar's trying to do a new art style, you, can you accept it? It's like, no, I can't. I can't accept it because it seems really out of place. I've seen some movies do this where they, where they had had, you know, you know, simplistic character design over this, you know, general, generally, you know, detailed background, but they make it work because those are not supposed to be kind of this heartwarming type movie. They're supposed to be comedies. And, you know, if, if your movie is like, you know, it has a type of goofy style, but you're not really going to do much goofy things with it. And you don't have the fat, you don't have the time paced animation to do that. It's not going to work. I mean, they do try to do some jokes here, but I could just predict every single joke that was coming. It, it just wasn't, I did not really laugh at all throughout this. I mean, it was just, it, it was just so, so plain that the jokes they, they were telling. And, you know, the design was like, you know, on, on at least, you know, the human character, the design was good. I was like, you know what, he fit into that world. The, the dinosaurs? No, not at all. I didn't think they fit into, you know, besides, you know, something that they would probably show on TV. But other than that, I don't think they really fit into that world, much less a Pixar movie. Pixar for doing something so detailed and this doing something so you know, cartoonish, and not even really doing it so much in a comedic route. I'm like, yeah, this, this really doesn't make any sense. And I know I might be the only one who's thinking about this, but I've seen people who've had the same opinion, who had, who have had the same, you know, criticism toward this film that, you know, the art style, at least on the dinosaurs, is too simplistic. And I'm sorry, I can't get around the at least, you know, I can get around the backgrounds. The backgrounds are gorgeous, but I can't get around, you know, the main characters. The main characters that I'm supposed to be invested in. And for something that, you know, for something that, for Pixar to be so character-oriented, so character-based, I thought this was weak. I really thought that this was weak because really, like, you know, besides that message, I mean, they tried to overplay the dramatic they try to overplay it so much to where anytime, like, you know, there's there's an early death in this scene. And they skim through it. They skim through it. It's like nothing. It's like, why not focus on this? Like, why not focus on, the like, a tragedy? But instead, nope, we gotta, we gotta move on because the script says so. I'm like, I, I, didn't, I didn't get that. I thought, like, you know, a lot... Like, the dramatic moments were incredibly forced. The only time I really ever felt for the characters, if it's something that, you know, not so serious happened to them, but I can definitely see how it can be life-threatening. Like, you know, one of them, you know, getting getting hurt, getting hurt by just, by just nature. Like, I know nature's the real, ain't, atta- Ugh, I can't even say the word right now, antagonist of this movie. I know that nature is the real antagonist of this movie. When that when when that happens like you know when something simple simple has happens but also like you know life threatening as well like when arlo kind of injures his foot so he has to like you know limp to walk and uh, like you know i felt for that when he was trying to get food from the top of the branch i was like i felt for that i felt for that but whenever they played up something so dramatic like you know a, like you know a death or or anything like anything like that you know having to escape um you know arlo trying to you know find his bravery inside him i mean when something like that happens i'm like this seems incredibly forced especially for pixar man pixar is good at taking those characters and making subtle genuine emotional moments that have made me cried this seems incredibly forced and i'm sorry it's just you know Pixar made me cry with Inside Out this year, and not so, not so much that the fact that you know, like it it had to deal with you know emotions or, or you know, but it was great. It was really greatly written, and the fact that the theme the theme of the fact that it made me 
cry throughout like you know that that scene where then where that character sacrificed his life but it did not seem forced it seemed like a genuine good moment and it really like you know it really fit into the scene sorry <laughs> but i <sighs> I just, Pixar can do better. Pixar can do so much better than this. And I wish they could have done much better because, I mean, say what you will about Brave, Cars 2, Monsters University. While I do think Cars 2 is their weakest film, I mean, at least it gives something like, you know, to offer in terms of how blatant this is a cash grab. At least it gives something to talk about. This, I can barely talk about it at all. I mean, this is going to be one of those more forgettable Pixar films, like A Bug's Life. I was like, I'm not going to remember that Pixar ever made this film. And they made some incredible movies. This is just not one of them. And I really do think it was the development process for this movie. I really do think that it it had um it just it just wasn't it just wasn't the project that was just so much worth so much worth and time and effort to be put into this because it doesn't really show it really doesn't even show and it did feel rushed it really did feel rushed so i'm going to have to give this about a 5 I mean, I, it's sad. It's sad to me. I hate this loop. Like, the, this Pixar is going up and down, up and down, up and down. And then it went up with Pix with Inside Out. And then it went kind of down with this. And I'm like, stay on a consistent level, Pixar. Because it's not working. It's not working for this up and down, up and down stuff, okay? It's not. So, yeah, I'm, th I'm going to give this about a five. And... You know, I know, like, you know, people are going to play, it's Pixar, it's Pixar. Well, Pixar can make duds as well, like any animation company. So, that's pretty much my review of The Good Dinosaur. I hope you guys um, enjoyed that, and I will be back to do more reviews in the future. So, as always, JC Animation Critic out. See you guys later. Take care.